Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. So this video that we're going to be reacting to today really hit home for me. You guys probably have already found out if you watch any of my other videos that I'm like eight and a half months pregnant. 34 weeks, yeah, that's that's eight and a half. I need help deciphering who was right, who was wrong, because I have a feeling that in this specific scenario, there is no real right or wrong. Depending on how you look at it, it could be considered racist, just poor mothering. Let's just go ahead and watch the clip, the news clip, and then I'm gonna state my opinion for why I'm so torn between this one, okay? If you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you so much, and let's get started. Authorities in Ohio today released the body cam video of a fatal police shooting near Columbus of a 21-year-old pregnant woman. CBS's Nancy Chen reports a lawyer representing the family says the footage shows a, quote, gross misuse of power and authority. Hey, out of the car, out of the car. Newly released police body camera footage shows 21-year-old Takiya Young, a pregnant woman, repeatedly being told by two police officers to get out of her car last week. Out of the car. What? Young, who is suspected of shoplifting alcohol at a nearby grocery store, refuses to exit her vehicle. They said, your stole stuff, do not leave. Get out of the car. The then, then get out. No. no. Moments later, Young slowly accelerates toward an officer. He then fires once hitting her in the chest. The officers chase the car as it rolls into a wall and immediately begin medical assistance. Young was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Her baby did not survive. Blendon Township Police Chief John Belford has placed the unidentified officer who fired the shot on administrative leave pending an investigation. Despite being ordered to get out of the car more than a dozen times, she refused to do so. I didn't see justification. Uh, I saw a, a young woman get killed. Attorney Shanda Brown says the Young family watched the video and is demanding an indictment of the officers. And they're obviously upset and, and, and devastated by, by watching that video. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. All right, so yeah, that's pretty heartbreaking. 21-year-old mother of two with one on the way, gone, dead in an instant over almost nothing. She was suspected of stealing alcohol. And I think it's important to mention that. Had she been stealing food items, you know, like if her kids were hungry, I think a lot of us would have a little bit more sympathy, but alcohol and you're pregnant, not a good look. Just judging by how the cops kind of approached her, out of the car, out of the car. And she's like, I'm not getting out of the car. And then she's like turning the wheel, trying to, you know, avoid hitting the officer because he stood literally right in front of her car. And then as she's pulling away, he shoots. Now, maybe some people may say, okay, well, he shot her because she's got this deadly weapon, which is a vehicle. But he put himself in front of the vehicle. Nobody told him to use his body to try to stop a car. You're a person. You're not going to be able to stop a 2,000-pound car. You know what I mean? So it's stupid to kind of put yourself in front of it. They could have easily got into their cruiser and then just proceeded to have a high-speed chase if that was the case. And then if she died in that moment, then that is 100% on her. But you shot her as she's trying to, like, literally pull away. She wasn't driving, like, with full force or anything. You know, so... I do agree that is kind of the wrong step here. I think that this could have been avoided in many different ways. Number one, you're a 21 year old mom of two with one kid on the way, stealing alcohol, like not a good look for you. Shouldn't have been doing that, not by any stretch of the imagination, right? So with that, now you're dead, you're gone, your child, your unborn child, the total pure innocence of it dead gone the body cam we like already saw the license plate they could have looked her up they could have anything could have been a better answer than this and and i think the pregnancy i think is what makes me really kind of one-sided on the hey you know the cops did this wrong who knows you know what this cop has been through maybe he's had somebody trying to run him over before you know what i mean i don't know or maybe they just you know when it comes to black people cops get a little lazy and they figure we're not chasing them we're just gonna gun them down we did just watch a video my last video the white women do it too I don't know if you saw that. I'll link it in the description so you can see that white women get shot down too. But this woman was like wielding a knife and literally running towards the cops like freaking Michael Myers, okay? So she had what she had coming. Now, more than likely she was guilty. I mean, because if I'm being accused of stealing something and I got nothing on my person, no reason to be worried, I'm gonna get out the car and comply. I'm gonna be like, look, you can go through whatever you need to do because I didn't steal anything. Guilty people run. 
So she was obviously guilty, um, suspected of stealing alcohol. Again, not a good look for a pregnant woman. So it calls into question a lot. Like number one, you're parenting. You're 21 years old. You're on your third kid. Wow. In and of itself. Like clearly this lady was, you know, her name was Kataya or something like that. And she had like the blonde weave. And I mean, I hate to put her in a, a category, but she seems like the ghetto type. The fact that you're unwed and a mother of three, not a good look. You're getting, you know, accused of stealing alcohol. Not a good look. You're making poor decisions, not complying with police. Not a good look. You're giving me total ghetto hood rat vibes with all of that. The blonde weave, the the, the name, Kataya, the, the, the situation that you're in. I've never been accused of stealing in my life because I've never stole. So people don't have a reason to accuse me. I'm not giving cops a reason to shoot me. So do you see why I'm torn? It's like on the one hand, I, I definitely feel like because she was pregnant, there could have been other recourse. Who knows how far along she was? Maybe the cops couldn't tell that she was pregnant. It just, it's its too iffy for me on this one. The, the idea of using deadly force, it just wasn't even on that level. So I guess, you know what, I'm gonna say the cops were just wrong. That's my final answer. What like convolutes it and makes it even more heartbreaking is the fact that she was pregnant. And then the fact that she has two young children. That's sad. The kids got to grow up without their mom, but it doesn't sound like their mom was on the right path anyway, being 21 with three kids, you know, being out here stealing alcohol at Kroger's. People like this keep ending up in situations like this because of the decisions that you make. You know what I mean? I'm black, 35 years old, never had a bad run in with any police officer, but I'm also not out here committing crimes. I don't think that there was a need to use a weapon. They could have chased her down, whatever. You know, it's just a situation where the cops were pleading with the white woman, please put the knife down, don't come at us, please stop, please, please. And then they proceeded to shoot her. But with this lady, they're like, get out the car, get out the car, get out the GD car. And then she doesn't listen. So then they're just like, let's kill her. So it's just one of those things where I personally do feel like white cops, they may have some reservations about black people. Maybe they do see white lives as more valuable. But at the same time, I can't deny the fact that we as black people, like if we don't put ourselves in these situations, we more than likely wouldn't be dealing with these consequences. Stop putting yourself in situations where you can have this kind of stuff happen to you. I've been trying to research and find out if the cops have dealt with any lawsuits or have they actually been indicted or were they you know, wiped clean of the situation because she did drive towards him in a vehicle. Granted, she wasn't driving super fast and granted she didn't pull a weapon out on him, but some might argue that a car is definitely a weapon and it can be, and we've seen it used as a weapon plenty of times in the news. So, you know, you guys, I just, again, this might be one of those situations where it is a wash. Like she was in the wrong for being a thief, stealing alcohol while pregnant, and they were wrong for jumping to using a, a gun when there was no real threat. You know what I'm saying? Nobody told you to stand in front of the car. You could have like, when you saw her getting in hers and she wasn't listening, I would have got right in my cruiser and I would have prepared myself for a chase down. But maybe, like I said, cops get lazy with black people. They're like, look, we're not dealing with you guys past a certain point. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, if we as black Americans know this, then what we need to do is stop putting ourselves in situations where we can get shot and killed by them. Stop stealing. Legitimately work hard for your money so that you can go to the store and purchase items. If you're stopped by a police officer and you haven't stole anything, don't give them issues. Comply. Do what you got to do to prove yourself innocent. Do what you got to do. Listen. Stop acting like you're above the law. All right. I think I'm over it. Like I said, I'm, I'm not excusing the cop's behavior by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm not going to sit here and act like a pregnant woman stealing alcohol is so innocent either. So you guys leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and I will see you all next time.